welcome to my week 25 bump video. Um, 25 weeks seems like a big milestone. I feel like all of like every five weeks um, just seems to be big milestones. Um, and, it, and it's crazy to think that I only have 15 um, weeks left. It, well, and that's if I go to 40. Um, so it is going fast, it is crazy. Um, but I'm loving it. I'm still loving being pregnant even with the negative symptoms and all. So this week a baby is the size of a rutabaga. Not really sure what that is. I don't think I've ever had a rutabaga before. Um, it's kind of like last, like the last couple times a spaghetti squash. You know, I'm just, I don't know. It's hard to um, picture a rutabaga, but but my app did say that um, baby is 13 and a half inches and so basically if I got out a ruler right now baby would be longer than a ruler and then baby is also weighing um, a pound and a half right now so it's crazy the thing he's putting on um, putting on more weight um, he's starting to put on baby fat too to start to look more like a newborn and not so malnourished <laughs> as he was before symptoms this week I'm still feeling really pretty good um, the biggest thing um, this week is my back still really really hurts and it's um, on the left side of my back um, just like before I have like I showed you in the last video, I have been wearing my belly band and it does seem to help here and there, although there are some times when it just hurts so much that I just can't, that like the belly band doesn't help either and I have to just get up, I can't sit and I have to walk around. Um, it's also kind of hard to wear the belly band at times just because you're supposed to put it like underneath your clothes, but I don't want it riding up against my bare skin. So a lot of times I just put it over top of my clothes, but I don't want people like staring at me like, what are you wearing? Um, so I don't always wear it. The left side of my ribs will also really hurt too. Um, again, I'm not sure if these are just, if this is just baby um, and babies, you know, pressing up or if it's just the way that like all my organs are getting squished that way or I'm just have really bad posture. I'm not really sure, um, but it has really been hurting me. Um, at night, um, I will have times when um, I have trouble staying asleep still. Um, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and just be ready for the day, ready to get on, um, and it'll be like 3, 4 a.m. <laughs> so um, that's been kind of hard to deal with. Um, also, sometimes in the mornings when I wake up, my hips will still really hurt. Um, and I think that's just the relaxing going through and just trying to get, you know, me ready for birth and labor and everything like that. Every week I feel baby kicking more and more. He is becoming more active um, every day. Um, he is still very sassy. Um, anytime I put any my hands or anything on my belly or Anthony puts his hands on my belly, baby will kick furiously um, at that exact spot. So it's kind of fun to play with him. I, f I find myself like poking him on one side um, and then he'll like kind of squirm to the other side and start kicking on the other side or he'll kick back So it's kind of cute. Um, it's kind of a fun game that we play. My um, Cravings are still the same. I really really like mac and cheese um, and I really like um, root beer um, I am finding that I am hungry a lot of the time um, and so it's hard for me to not want to snack constantly and to snack on um, junk food and so Anthony's been really helping me he started um, making um, healthy lunches and health healthy snacks for me to eat while at work um, and so he's made um, vegetables and a little bit of ranch that I dip them in. So it'll be things like carrots and celery and bell pepper. Um, and then he also made me a um, little yogurt parfait kind of thing. And it's got yogurt and granola. And, um, and so it's got fruit like strawberries, raspberries, grapes, 
um, and blackberries and um, it's pretty good I've never really been much of a yogurt person um, but Anthony knew that and so he only put a little bit in each one um, I really like the granola though which I've heard is the worst part of the whole thing but hey at least I'm eating it um, and so it makes me feel better and um, they do say that you should be you should start eating, you know, different kinds of vegetables and fruits because when your baby's born, they would be um, more likely to um, eat those kinds of things instead of um, be picky. Anthony's um, been really trying to help me eat healthier um, and not eat out so much, um, especially with uh, finances, finances and things like that. We're trying to cut back on. Um, going out to eat so much and things like that so we can just buy a bunch of fruit and vegetables at the uh, grocery store and divvy it up throughout the week um, then that should save us some money. I really haven't had any headaches as of lately which has been awesome um, because I always feel guilty when I do get a headache because um, then I'll take Tylenol and I know Tylenol is the safest of all of the medicines out there to take for your headaches but it still worries me about putting you know just different you know that kind of medicine in my body and with the baby so I haven't had to do that recently at all. I have started to take Tums a lot more now. I get heartburn a, a ton more. I think baby is growing a lot more hair right now. I think he's gonna have a lot of hair. Um, that's the old wives tale is if you get a lot of heartburn that means your baby has a lot of hair. Um, but I have been getting a lot of heartburn and so I have been taking Tums. There have been a couple times when I've had to take Tums several times a day. Uh, just because my heartburn is so bad and it won't grow, go away. Um, but again, like I've said in every video, I will take heartburn any day over nausea. Um, I have heard that some people get nausea in the third trimester, and so um, I'm getting close to that third trimester. I'm a little worried that the nausea is going to come back. Um, might not be too bad because then I probably wouldn't overeat like I am now, but um, I, I feel pretty crummy and miserable with the nausea, so I'm hoping it's gone uh, for the rest of my pregnancy. We're still trying to think of names for the baby. Um, we've got a couple names uh, so far that we have thought of so it's better than just one um, Archer so Archer is kind of still in the mix um, but like I said before I'm kind of not liking Archer anymore just because I worry that people call him Archie and I don't like that name so the other names that we started to think of is um, Clark I really like Clark it's I think it's a strong name but it's very short and I don't know if it's too short and I don't know if I'll like that or not um, and then we also like Elliot um, the problem I have with Elliot is I worry that it might be too nerdy, um, but I think it's really um, a cute name. And then another name that we've been tossing around, but I think it's at like the bottom of our list right now is like Blaine and also Blake. Um, I kind of like those names. I think they're kind of unique, um, but I think they're kind of at the lower end of the list. I think right now I keep trying to go back and forth between Clark or Elliot. And I don't know, I, I, you know, I'm sure that we could come up with more names, but I'm getting a little stressed, just like we've been getting more things for the nursery now that it's like Christmas time. Um, and so we've got like our crib mattress and my parents got us furniture for the nursery and Anthony's parents got us the crib. So we're getting more things and um, I just feel like we need a name, but I, I'm sure it'll come to us and, um, you know, once we figure it out, it, it'll it all flow together. But another thing I worry about is I'm so bad at making decisions. And always when I make a decision, I always second guess myself. And I keep thinking like, well, what if I would have gone with the other thing? So I, I always wonder to myself, like, if I pick Clark, what if, like, will I always be regretting it? And, be, and always wonder, like, well, what if I would have picked Elliot and vice versa? So, I don't know, I just need to get out of my head. Another thing um, this week is we finally picked out a color for the nursery. Um, and so I went to Lowe's a couple weeks ago and I just basically took every, like they have free paint swatches um, that you can get off the walls. Um, and so we knew we wanted some kind of gray, blue kind of color. So I went and I took every single color I could find that was gray, blue, or somewhere in between and brought them all back. And then Anthony and I went 
through each uh, swatch one by one and uh, we would weed out more and more each time we went through all of the paint swatches um, and so let me show you what what we decided so um, this is kind of what we went um, came up with and it might change uh, especially because we are getting the furniture delivered soon and so we'll be able to like hold the paint swatch up against the um, furniture and make sure that like it does it goes well and it's not like too contrasty or anything like that our nursery furniture we picked out was gray um, and so this is kind of the picture the color that we picked out for the nursery room it's this middle one it's called palisade blue I think I'm pronouncing that right and so it's just kind of like a, a blue gray color um, we didn't want anything too light and we didn't want anything too dark so I think we really like that one um, we do have a couple of swatches um, on hold just in case that one doesn't work we can still compare it and things like that but um, now that we picked out a color we just need to go and buy it and then paint it um, I did Google you know if I'm allowed to help paint and um, they say I can but I need to take a lot of breaks and things like that um, I know my sister and her boyfriend have offered to come and help us paint I would feel bad if Anthony had to do it all by himself so um, I'm sure we'll get there and and figure it out but I definitely would like to get the nursery painted soon just because we're starting to get big uh, furniture. And uh, we got a lot of gifts for, uh, uh, for Christmas for the baby. And so uh, the room is starting to get more full and it'd be nice to just paint while there's not too much um, in the room so we don't have to move too much around and have to worry about paint getting on and everything. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we still got tons of time. So let me show you uh, my week 25 bump. Okay, so before I show you my bump, I just wanted to show you this really cute shirt that I'm wearing. My mom got it for me. Um, it's, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a snowman, and then there's another snowman right at my bump. Um, so baby is a snowman. I just think it's really cute. <laughs> um, but anyway, enough of that. So let me pull it up. Okay, so here is my belly. Here it is from the side. Here it is from the front, and then here it, oops, and then here it is from the other side. So getting bigger, um, almost six months pregnant, and this is, you know, my belly. Um, some days I feel it like it's bigger than others, um, but yeah, that's that's where I am right now. So I think that's all for this week. It's a little bit of a shorter video, but with Christmas and the holidays, it's a little crazy. Um, and hard to find time to sit and uh, record um, but stay tuned next week I'll be 26 weeks um, basically six months pregnant um, it's just crazy how fast time is going and um, I'm loving it I'm loving being pregnant I could stay pregnant forever I know everybody says that all changes in the third trimester because things just start hurting and you start not feeling well but so far everything is going uh, pretty Pretty much great other than the back issues and uh, the heartburn but that's not too bad at all so again that's all for this week um, make sure to subscribe so you can be notified when I post my next video um, and also make sure to like this video and also if you guys have any boy names uh, that you would like to offer Anthony and I to consider please uh, post it in the comments down below we're struggling a little bit we are wanting more like unique names um, not really common names so if you have any um, that you can think of uh, please let us know we would love to hear it bye guys